Hey Cancer, this is Soul. And Cancer, this is going to be your general love uh, forecast for the month of October 2016. Okay, Cancer, before I get into your messages, I do want to take this time to uh, thank those uh, supporters uh, who have alerted me to the fact, either through comments or email, to let me know that there was someone um, still in my videos, and actually I found out that they actually hacked my channel. Uh, the person, or I should say the low-life scumbag person, uh, goes by the name of Basra Kula. And I will be link leaving a link to their website uh, with their name and their website or their channel. Actually, it's my damn channel, but the uh, YouTube address that they are using to steal my videos. I have since... Uh, alerted YouTube so I know it's a slow process so just bear with me uh, but I thank you for your patience and this is the reason why um, even though I'm not late with your video because we're in the middle of uh, September and I'm doing October because uh, I know I got a couple comments you know from people saying when will I post the rest of the videos well just be patient okay because I do have a personal life and shit does happen to me so it's not like I'm just sitting here doing these videos but what I do want to say is that I would love to continue doing these videos and offering these free videos for you uh, as guidance but the situation with someone coming through to hack my uh, material it's a lot of hard work that I do to put these out there number one and I take pride in uh, what I do uh, for someone to come along and just think they're going to get a free ride off of my dime, um, you know, it's very sad. So I don't know if any of this stuff that's occurring right now has anything to do with Mercury retrograde. I don't want to trip off of that, but I could. I can honestly say that there has been a lot of stranger shit happening to me this past week or so. So, um, but anyway, Cancer, I would like to present to you. Uh, it looks like for me continued um, positive energy from last month's um, general love forecast. Let's see how it goes. Uh, but that's a good sign, you know, because we definitely definitely need that positive energy. Uh, and then if it has anything to do with the Mercury retrograde and that breaks on the 22nd of September, thank God. Um, and then maybe things will start to shift around even more positive for us. But anyway, get into your messages. I'm going to leave that link down here at the bottom in the description. Please expand the description box to get that link. Go to that person's channel, flag them, report them, help me to keep this or at least keep my channel uh, going. OK, uh, I could use all the help that I could get. Anyway, cancer, we're going to start the energy off with. None other than the King of Cups. That's us. Okay. King of Cups is in the upright position. And this is for male energy. I'm, I'm sorry. It is male energy, but it could be representative of female energy as well. King of Cups showing up in the upright is so positive uh, because the cups represent love and emotion. So this may be just the continued energy um, that may be occurring at this moment for some of you crabs in September. And in spite of all the setbacks and delays that I have been getting I'm still in a good place okay so don't get me wrong when I, I'm saying that you know a lot of stuff has happened to me um, which is true but I'm still in a good place um, so this king of cups comes in just to give me that validation that it all is well and at least it's you know well with me and I feel that it's going to be well with the majority of you out there this is about relationships this is about the uh you know at least the father energy uh being uh loving and nurturing also because the king doesn't sit in this card by himself that means that for those singer single cancers who are looking for relationships and looking to connect this could be the month that uh takes place so there's multiple people here in this card and also to the king comes in that for whatever reason uh crabs intuition is going to be at an all-time high the king like the queen is all about being very intuitive so whatever it is that you get uh with your as you know with your first gut instincts when it comes to love and relationships that is the correct answer do not sidestep it do not bury it go with what you get whether it is uh 
you know, your intuitive senses kicking in to say something doesn't feel right about someone that you meet or the same applies to if you get that feeling that something does feel right. And normally that feel right uh, feeling is associated with butterflies in the stomach. OK, if you feel that way, then that's the positive answer. If something else comes in, like you have like a pit in your stomach that is letting you know it's either a red flag or something that you need to be mindful of. OK, so your intuition is going to be on an all time high to help you when it comes to love and relationships. Now, what's crossing that um, f- King of Cups, we do have the uh, five of cups. So it's for some of you, it may be a, like a, a misfortune, but I just feel that there is a cancer or two that I'm reading for that's already involved with a water sign, possibly another water sign, cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female. This relationship, um, some of you may be experiencing some sort of uh, emotional disappointment or letdown with that individual. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's a, uh, you know, parting of the ways, split separation, uh, because the cups, there's three cups laying down. So there's something uh, that may be upsetting you. And I speak of those who are already dating or in uh, established relationships. Now, it might be just a temporary thing. Um, and I feel that the fives uh, representative, or at least the five of cups is representative of emotional loss. I feel is more uh, related to uh, a disappointment or a letdown within a relationship or someone that you're dating, but you'll recover. Okay. Again, King of Cups, Five of Cups crossing. Uh, fives is a clearing of energies when they show up like the tens are, and it's just temporary. So whatever it is that may be presenting itself, uh, possibly occurring in the month of September going, but the full impact is in October. Just know that it's temporary and it's not going to be, something that's going to be drawn long and drawn out okay it's just something that the emotions could be uh coming through um not necessarily you cancer it could be coming from the other person that you're involved with that they come across and even though it's water that's being presented here it could be with any zodiac sign okay okay so now it is The three of wands that's up next and the three of wands is there might be some sort of uh, lack of movement uh, for some of you in terms of uh, a relationship. Now, this could be with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, male or female. The three of wands is in the reverse. So that's a lack of movement or progression. Uh, I'm not talking about any other areas or aspects of your life. I'm focusing primarily on romance, love. And relationships this month for you uh, cancer so there's a lack of movement or progression with a relationship that may or may not be with a fire sign could be with any zodiac sign then there's the reluctance on a cancer or two that i'm reading for that may be involved with a fire sign that's already involved with someone else or it could be that cancer is involved and then there's a fire sign who's the outsider looking in um then, you know, if the three of wands was in the upright, then it would be either cancer uh, is walking away from a love triangle or someone is walking away from cancer uh, involving a love triangle. But there is a lack of movement and progression. So I feel that if there is any love triangles going on uh, for you, cancer, and it's involving the fire sign or any zodiac sign that either there's a no progression and no movement. So I feel that the progression could you know, result in you wanting things to go the way that you want the relationship to go, or it could be if you're attached and the person that you're with wants the relationship to go uh, where they want it to go and it's not going anywhere. Okay. So that's what I'm getting with the three of wands energy in the reverse. Also to the uh, next up after that three of wands cancer is the uh, moon card, major arcana, major life event. The moon card is in the reverse. So, the aspect of what I'm picking up energy wise is that some of you are 
either this moon is showing up next to that three of wands because if I'm talking about a love triangle and I'm picking up that energy for a couple of you out there, it may be that you're overcoming some sort of uh, depression related to that whole entire um, triangle. Outside of a love triangle, I just feel that some cancers are just their mood is uh, lifting. See, this is all about moods and uh, secrets, revelations, and depression. That's when it's in the upright. But I feel that it's in the reverse because of a couple of things, either uh, cancer's mood for some of you who may have been, um, you know, in a depressive state when it comes to love and relationship, then as the month progresses, some of that energy uh, may be lifting. And like I said before, because I'm reading for you in the month of September, some of you may be feeling the impact of that as I speak uh, on September 17th and moving forward. Uh, a lifting of energy, a uh, lifting of, it's like the, the mood swings. If there were any mood swings, then some of that is going to uh, be uh, lifted. Also, too, this uh, moon shows up, too, because there may have been some sort of secrets for those cancers that I'm reading for that were, that were revealed. Now, the revelation comes in from significant others, things that you didn't know. Uh, it could be also the energy from another person towards you, something that they didn't know about you, and it was revealed. Um, that is coming up in, uh, you know, October, but it could start right now. Okay, discovering some sort of secret about um, someone that you didn't know about them before, or it could be them discovering something about you. The moon represents Pisces, so it could be, again, some water uh, cancers dealing with Pisces individuals or other water signs like yourself, and then there is Scorpio, male or female. The moon also rep uh, represents personal personal reputation so someone's reputation may or may not be at stake or um, it may have been and then you're overcoming that um, it may have been a personal attack on your reputation but you have to tie it into you know love and relationships so maybe there was some I don't know um since the moon represents secrecies and dark dark secrets, you know, and also lies. Maybe someone was lying on cancer. Um, it could be, a, you know, a number of things. But anyway, I don't want to, you know, focus too much attention on the moon uh, because it is in the reverse and that's an uplift or a shift or change of mood, attitude, uh, revelation, excuse me, revelations of secrets coming to the forefront. After the moon now, moving out into the future, uh, Cancer, we have the Six of Wands. So this is all about victory and success. So when it comes to your relationships this month, um, some of you are going to achieve some sort of victory and success. There's a lot of people here indicated in this card, so that's also to the potential for those single Cancers looking to connect with new energy. Uh, in the month of October, uh, maybe your best bet. Uh, there's a lot of people here, and it's like uh, the wands is a physical card, so it's movement. It's in the upright, so that's where the success comes in. It's like you meet a lot of people, and then there's positive movement forward um, in establishing a connection. Going out into the future now. And then, and this six of wands represents fire energy. Also could be related to... Um, you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male, or female, that some of you have the potential of meeting or connecting with this month. And the card that follows the Six of Wands is the Nine of Wands. So that's in the reverse as well. So I like the Nine of Wands in the reverse. So this is all that battles and struggles um, that some Cancers had to deal with. This is more internal. I feel it's more internal. Uh, battles and struggles although there are, you know there could be an indication where you know cancer is already connected inside of a relationship with a fire sign and there was some battles and struggles going on with that person or that in a, uh, individual's energy uh, because it sits underneath the king it's an actual person for me so it could have been that there was some you know um, 
battles and struggles going on with a few cancers that I'm reading for with fire signs. It could be with any zodiac sign, but with the nine in the reverse, it's overcoming that. Also, it's a physical card. It also represents that for me it could uh, be related to external um, outside sources, friends and families getting themselves involved in your um, either married life or your you know your relationship in general that's coming to an end or at least winding down in the month of October now we have the six of pentacles that's that's next to the um, nine of wands in the reverse and this is an offer so the six of pentacles is an offer so there could be an offer of love coming from an earth sign Taurus Capricorn Virgo male or female for those single um, cancers Yeah, and it could be because I'm reading for you, it could be that cancer extends their offer of love to someone that could be an earth sign, could be any zodiac sign. But I can feel the energy drawing towards you, cancer, that it could come from an earth sign, male or female. Hmm, that's interesting. And also, too, because it sits, the Six of Pentacles sits underneath the five of cups i i am reading for a cancer or two that's in a relationship with an earth sign now and it may be that there's something going on emotionally with cancer towards this earth sign and again i, I will note that i'm not mentioning any you know splits or breakups or anything it's just energy you know and i just feel that it's just minor it could be that there uh something the earth sign does to cancer to disappoint them emotionally or it could be that cancer does something to disappoint an earth sign so it's just energy that may or may not play out next up after the six of pentacles we have uh and this also let me just throw this in here too because it is the pentacles it represents work and finance it could be an offer of love for some of you related around the work environment Okay, the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, Major Life Event. It's in the upright. This is a good card to have. So this like almost luck is on Cancer's side when it comes to love and relationship. This I hope. But anyway, the wheel continuously, you know, turns, spins. So it all depends on where the where you land on that wheel. Also, it's a ten, so it's a clearing of energy. So that means it's not stagnated. It means it's constantly moving. So you may just have. A limited time with your luck when it uh, uh, comes to connecting with uh, someone new if that's what you want and because it's like moving closer towards the end of October some of this energy may be um, felt during that time that these connections are made towards the end of October I wouldn't necessarily say that it would be so uh, because I'm reading for you now and I just feel that certain things are going on with some cancers right at this moment that cancers are making connections based on uh, that energy that I read for you in September um, because I'm, I'm feeling that same energy all right so it's just a matter of time it might be just a matter of time and the timing in itself so I'm just gonna say the wheel of fortune uh, whatever you want to call it lady luck uh, just luck fortune is on your side and take advantage of it take advantage of this energy now, after that Wheel of Fortune, there's some sort of conflicts going on here because we got the not only have the Five of Cups, we have the Five of Swords. So there could be just some and it's all minor. It could be just some minor conflicting stuff when it comes to relationships. Now, the conflicts could also be drawn in towards you, Cancer, for those Cancers that are single and looking to connect or meet. And the energy, it just results uh, or maybe um related to um timing number one and then it could be like schedules um that create the conflict you know you meet somebody or somebody you know meets you or wants to meet you and then there's something to do with conflicting scheduling or something to do with time so i only see this as minor i don't see that as something significant for you to um you know to worry about or you know draw attention to too much because it's just minor conflict and then also too it just may be that because the five of swords sits under the moon um as i said that there's overcoming uh some sort of uh depression 
when it comes to relationship. There may be just some lingering energy when it comes to the conflicts. Okay. Now, the last card that I have for you, Cancer, is um, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So the Nine of Pentacles is in the reverse. And this is for those Cancers who are already in a relationship, possibly, with a Earth sign. That the Earth sign is either coming across as being stubborn or bossy. Excuse me. And that energy is affecting you. And then also, too, because it lands on uh, the last day of the month, which is our October 31st, Halloween, it could be for some of you. It, now, I'm because I'm reading for you, Cancer, this could go either way. It could be a false sense of security coming from you, or it could be a false sense of security coming from uh, someone who's already in a relationship possibly with an earth sign or it could be just it's a lot of could be's here it's a lot of energy <laughs> associated with this nine of pentacles uh in the upright is a, po a very positive card it's still a positive card but there's a false sense of security when it's in a reverse or some sort of instability um either with an established relationship going on with an earth sign it could be with any zodiac sign or it could be one of the people um, that cancer has a potential of meeting and this person is coming across as being insecure or unsteady. Not that, they're, you know, I'm saying that they are a potential bad person, uh, but it could be uh, them in terms of their energy because um, the dating experience could be, you know, new for them as well. Not necessarily new, but it could be that they... Um, it's been a while since they put themselves out there back out into the dating scene and they're coming across as not feeling secure about making the decision to do that. I just feel it's not really, it could be related to some cancers that I'm reading for the nine of pentacles, but I don't, I think it's outside of you, you know, this energy, this is, has something to do with another individual, not cancer uh, directly. And that's my take, and I'm not going to change it. But anyway, Cancer, this is your reading for the month of October. I feel that it's, it's, you know, it's really, really positive. We only have the two strikes against us that I will see or call as strikes, and that's the Five of Swords and Five of Cups. But that is minor energy, um, and it's not something that, you know, um, you need to pay too much attention to. Uh, you will... Uh, overcome it and it will be dealt with you know any conflicts or any emotional disappointments because the king here is representative of the overall energy all right and for the month and that's all about loving being loved nurturing and being nurtured and that's coming in from others and it's also the energy from cancer going out to others okay so very good reading and the card the romantic card that i have selected uh for you cancer to um compliment your reading is romantic feelings and it says here your feelings are real and worth exploring so this goes out to any cancers who have um made some sort of connection possibly in the month of uh, september and this is just not for single cancers. This is for cancers who are already in established relationships, you know. And if it's a new one, and cancer, the intuition kicks in. Like I said before, you know it. And you know when you get that great vibe and that good feeling about someone that you meet. And if it's the butterflies, that's what you go with. If it's like, um, you know, a rock or a pit in the stomach, that's a red flag. That's for you to pay attention that there might be something going on that, you know, may further down the road lead you into trouble. So just go with your instincts. They never leave you, lead you astray. Okay. Sometimes what we do is we get it. And then, you know, we always say, I felt that, but I went against it. Well, go with it the first time and then you won't have no regrets later on. Okay, so the month of October, romantic feelings, 
your feelings are real and worth exploring. And then I do want to add, because there is two people here, that's the potential of two people meeting. And it could also represent those couples who are already established. Uh, this might be the month for you to uh, explore or go deeper with your romantic feelings towards towards the significant uh, other that you have in your life. Okay, Cancer? Uh, very proud to put this out there to you. And once again, I want to thank you for your patience and understanding as I've been dealing with a lot of bullshit. Um, please, requesting your help, I'm going to leave that link underneath in the description box to visit this person's channel and flag and report their asses so that I can continue to put this content up for you um, free, okay? So Cancer, uh, until the next time, I wish you all love and light and uh, a month full of safety and uh, of course, a month full of love. Take care, Cancer. I wish you all love and light. Bye.